Some very interesting news released this past couple days involving this year's event, as well as some new rumors and speculation about the story from one of the original houses. So let's get into that right after the intro. What's up guys, it's Michael from Hollowed Thrills, and today we'll be going over some more HHN30 news. First off, which is coming from Instagram slash Twitter user Horror Nights ORL Fan, and he posted this picture on both of his Twitter and his Instagram. And if we take a closer look at this image, you can see that this is indeed one of the bay doors open from the old parade building. So as many of you may know, the old parade building last year was used to house graveyard games. And as you can see, there are new walls going up inside of the building, indicating that for at least this particular house, the construction is continuing as planned, even though that there are park closures due to the current pandemic. Also, this is a fairly recent picture as it was reported to be taken by an insider on Monday, April 13th. So this has me very optimistic about the future of this year's event, and it seems that it will still be continuing as planned. So next up in the news, our final permit filing was filed today for Universal Orlando that shows a permit for the use of the Shrek 40 Theater to be used as a house location this year. Now, this goes against the current speculation map that I went over the other day, but that does not mean that the Cafe La Bamba location is completely ruled out for this year's event, as there were still permits filed for this location. And honestly, at this point, it's up in the air as to which location will be used, whether it be the Shrek 4D Theater or Cafe La Bamba. Um, and there were rumors, rumors speculating at one time that were surfacing that we may possibly have an 11th house this year which would mean that both locations would be used, the Shrek 4D Theater and Cafe La Bamba. But those are just simply rumors, and at this point, I don't really agree with them. I believe that we were only going to be getting one of those uh, locations being used, whether it be Shrek or Cafe La Bamba. And at this point, with the current situation that the world is in, I'm expecting that it's just going to be the same 10 houses that we normally have had the past couple years. That does not mean that it's ruled out for future events, meaning that they could possibly do that next year. But as of right now, I believe that it's still only going to be 10 houses. And finally, the last bit of rumors and specula speculations for today's shorter video is about the pumpkin themed original house that I announced a few days ago. So a few days ago over on hhnunofficial.com, there was a post made speculating the return or rather the resurrection of a scrapped icon from a few years ago. And that icon being Nathaniel Crow. Now a lot of you may not know who Nathaniel Crow is, but according to a little information about his character back when he was developed in 2008 for HHN 18, he was, uh, he was uh, eventually scrapped to make way for Bloody Mary for that year's event. Um, but back when he was created in 2008, he was created by Michael Aello from Universal Creative, who unfortunately does not work with HHN anymore, as he is currently working on a new project, that being the creation for different properties for the new Epic Universe uh, park that Universal is currently working on, that being the fourth park at Universal. So unfortunately, this may be a... a, a homage to him for this year um, but I don't know and the current information that we have about what uh, Nathaniel Crow actually is um, he was supposed to be uh, a link of past icons that involved that were involved in the carnival of carnage and the idea of the character is that he's a very large scarecrow type uh, character that is a, a composite of items such as pumpkins, weeds, candles, and weirdly enough crow feathers. I know Nathaniel Crow, crows make sense. But anyways, uh, it sounds like a, an amazing character to me to headline such an interesting house uh, theme. And to be honest, it sounds like they would really do some good stuff with that, uh, at least that background of the character idea. Uh, and to be honest, the description of him just fits right in with the theme and it could easily be worked around um, as such. So will we possibly see Nathaniel Crow appear at this year's event? 
I don't know, as right now it's just speculation and nothing's really confirmed until Universal says something about it. But um, at this point, hopefully we will. Uh, hopefully stuff works out and we get to see Nathaniel Crow at this year's event because that would be honestly really cool to see a scrapped idea come back from the dead. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for news for today. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about today's news and the possible rumors that you heard in this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to get notified whenever I post a video. And as always, I've been Michael. This has been Hollowed Thrills and I'll see you guys next time.